the right things out of the community. It's awesome. Um, today is our day to start to give back. It was less than one of y'all. Again, we want to make the best camp experience for them. All right, it starts when they start coming down here. All right, so you're going to have kids that have never played a sport come down here. They're going to show up. They're going to be excited. We want them to be excited. All right, so let's encourage them along the way. When they come down, we're going to put them in groups. We're going to spray them out um, by group. So if you look on your sheet, all right, if you had like uh, Station 1, I'm going to give you K to 1st grade, all right? K to 1st grade. You got what I put on there? Something like that. This stage. backstory real quick why I'm here. So I'm not from Atlanta. You know, I'm not from Georgia. I'm from Miami, Florida. And as you guys know, yeah, we, got, we got some 305 people down here. So as you guys know, the reason we're here is because of the man, Tim Lester. So I was fortunate enough in high school, my 10th grade year, or going into my 10th grade year, I should say, to have the, the opportunity to play for a great man and a great coach. So this is way back in 2001. Most of you guys were not alive, but the moms were, the parents were. So um, anyways, I'm gonna talk to you about what I just felt in my heart, the hardware. So hardware is the trophy, okay? Football, for us, it's a ring. For him, it's a gold medal. And the hardware for me was the validation of the hard work. It's, it's what you've done. It's, it's the culmination of saying, hey, listen, I set this goal, I want to accomplish this. But the difference is, winning a trophy is, no one's gonna give it to you, right? It's, it's, it's not going to be easy. So that's the reason why you do it, right? You sign up for because it's worth it to you. You want to be a champion. So for me, I made my hey, my goal in life, or what I was trying to accomplish was about was about that, the championship. And having the opportunity to play for Coach Lester at that time, we used to say that you have to keep your eye on the prize, right? And the process of getting there is the hard part, right? It's, it's the, at, when we played, we had two days. We were running 16 110s after a three hour practice on Monday. Tuesday after practice, we would push the sled. Wednesday after practice, we would run eight 220s. We couldn't bend over, we had to make time. We couldn't cross our legs, couldn't put our hands over our head. It was, it was very tough, but it was rewarding, and that's why we won, because we put the work in. As you go through the process of trying to accomplish anything, whether it's football, whether it's track, it's the first thing you have to do is decide what you really want, right? And then it's gonna require a sacrifice, and the sacrifice hurts a lot. So for me, I always look at it from a, a standpoint of just simple math, right? Okay. What's two plus two? Four. Okay, four, right? Easy. It's easy. It's easy, right? It's exact. It's all. It's, it's six. It's, not, it's never six, but that's close. <laughs> but my point is, math is is exact. So my concept in my mind was, if I do exactly what the coach tells me to do, based on reps. Okay, I'm gonna do it with great effort, which was, which was our station that we had, right? And if coach says do 10, if we all do 10, then we're all the what? The same, right? So how do I separate myself from being better than the man next to me? What do I have to do? For, you have to do more, 11, there we go. That's the answer right there. That's the answer, okay? So on those, <laughs> On those days where, you know, I was playing for an intense coach role, we had to, to run 16 110s, the 220s, everybody would go home after the three hour practice and I would run the mile after every practice. Or I would put the sled on, put a couple, you know, plates on the back of the sled and, and hit the sleds. I was paranoid that somebody was outworking me. If we turn these lights off right now, Right? People say what's, what's done in the dark comes to light. 
Like, I don't know what my teammate was doing, my competition was doing, I just know I had a goal, I wanted to be a champion, and I was willing to hurt for it, to sacrifice for it. And it's the same in anything that you do. So, fast forward, you're putting all this time in, you know, extra reps, and then all of a sudden, you, when you get in the game, Coach E, there's an expect, expectation, right? When you put the work in, what do you know on Friday night? We gonna, we gonna win the game. In your mind and in your heart, you're saying, I am going to win because I already sacrificed more, I already gave more. I'm not hoping for a result, I'm expecting a result. And typically, you're going to end up being that champion. So, a lot of people play for different reasons. Football is fun, but it's only fun when you win, right? <laughs> you can put all the work in, but ultimately you're trying to, trying to accomplish something. So, fast forward, I get to the University of Miami. At the time, I just played back-to-back -back national championships. We had all the five-star kids in the world. We had the best player in the world. The, we'll, we'll call it the, the modern day. And I know I gotta pass the baton over to UGA, right? <laughs> the modern day Georgia Bulldogs. Right, every single position stacked, loaded, right? When you watch those guys play, you're saying, they're doing it a different way. And to my, my own eyeballs, I'm telling you, that defense might be the all-time best. I don't like to say that playing the University of Miami, but it's, it's the truth, all right? So when you get there and you sign up and you take that scholarship, or Little League, right? You got your, you got your teammates, who's gonna be the starter, who's the backup? You get to high school, who's gonna be the starter, who's gonna be, who's gonna be the backup? A lot of times, it comes down to the guy who plays and the guy who doesn't. It's the guy who's willing to, to put more work in, to give more. It matters to them more. And that's gotta be the approach when, when, you, when you play this sport. So, you know, for me, being up here, having the opportunity to speak to you guys, I'll always be here because of what Tim Lesser did for me. He was hard on me. He was hard on me because he cared. Your parents are hard on you because they care. Your coach should be hard on you. They shouldn't let you cheat. They shouldn't let you cut corners. We're all here to live up to that. A certain way you do things, a certain way you go about your business. And football is a, is a way to get you prepared for life. It's very difficult, it's hot, it's tough. It hurts, you get injured, you have scars, you have, you have setbacks, but ultimately, you make the decision to keep going because of the reward at the end. So I just wanna thank, thank, thank everybody for the time. I want you guys to continue to strive you know, take heed to, to that simple lesson of doing more than what's required of you. Prepare when, when no one's looking. And then expect that result knowing that you put the time in. God bless you. All right. One more time. Team!